let's see here. Yeah, vectors. We're gonna set up for the vector lab. So, there's a cabinet down here. Oh, table right here. Cabinet, table, cat. oh, never mind. So, we'll open up the cabinet here. And, well, we can't see too well in there, but the vector table's in here. I like to carefully take out equipment first, um, so I'm not banging things around. Carefully take this out. I'm gonna set it on the table. This table will turn on the base, bad, 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 uh, clockwise to make sure it's tight. Lift up the whole table. Uh, yeah, don't ever do that. These are these are breakable. Um, <laughs> zero, I like to point to the right. Okay, because we're gonna count in a physics fashion positive sweep in a counterclockwise direction. Okay, so this mass set goes right here. And you need to make sure that all the mass sets are equal in the room. And then I like to stack these back hangers somewhere like that. And then I just mount these one at every 90 degree point at each quadrant. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand there, but okay, you're gonna so you're gonna mount one at each quadrant, and then I just drape the, the strings over each of the pulleys and you know these strings are looking pretty frayed um, if they're looking pretty frayed I, I would like them to be replaced uh, they should be about yay long looks like about an inch off the pulley that's the loop down there um, to replace them don't tie them to this ring instead just make a loop in the end of the string and and um, thread the loop through so that things aren't tied and they can come off more easily so a lot of these are going to need to be replaced on this on this day um, until new ones are set out. So that's the idea. It's just again put these at each quadrant, setting up the vector table. And can I pause? I don't know.